Well, I am here at the exhibit building at the Longmont Amateur Radio Club's uh, annual Swap Fest um, in the shadows of the lovely uh, Longs Peak and Mount Meeker. And uh, here's the parking lot here. Plenty of parking. And uh, I'm about to go stand in line and pay and get in. As you can see, there's a lot of hams here as evidenced by uh, antennas on people's uh, cars, which is always a good sign that you're in the right place. Okay, and here's the line to get in, and here is the food truck uh, parked outside here. So we'll have to stop in there and uh, probably get some coffee. There's a lot of ham radio people. I don't think I've ever seen this many ham radio people. We're almost in. All right, so we got some stuff here. We have Indian Peaks Radio Club here. They are raffling off a Baofeng. There's always the, the free table, which is nice, with some crazy stuff on it, whatever this is. How cool is that? More stuff here. Cool stuff there. We have, we have the Bart Junior's table. How are you? Look at all this good stuff that they have. There's the Bark Jr. ham. Some good old stuff. Look at this thing. Okay, we have Mile High DX Association with tons of goodies for the men and uh, the, the YLs. Must be some interesting stuff here on this table. So it looks like we have a mag loop antenna looking thing over here. All right, we have the Colorado traffic net of which I uh, received a uh, traffic on uh, a few months ago, I think. Somebody responded to my QSL. I mean, when you watch the movie with friends and they start doing Morse code, you say, they're not sending that. Boy, you know? well, won't they be, aren't they all things, right? You know? So this is straight to you. Um, it's kind of hard to go pretty fast too. Okay. So, um, but nowadays, there are various ways of learning. CQ means seek you, right? We're looking for someone to talk to. So I'm seeking you. CQ is a piece of you. So here's B Cares. Table. Right. 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 And a comparison. Yeah, well, if asked, we certainly do provide services for that type of situation. We're, uh, we're on uh, 146. This is a cool little thing, whatever it is. Done the stuff at these tables here. We have bikes. Oh, these are electric bikes. Pretty cool. Crazy. There's a little CRT in here. This is probably in this icon. Uh, electronic technicians wanted. Have some antennas here. SWR meters. A little little tuner here. I think I have one of those. All right, Chuck. What are you selling? <laughs> so we have keyboards. We have all kinds of stuff. Oh, that I don't have. Chuck, our esteemed Sir. president, oh, right. has a... All right, we have Pikes Peak Radio Association here. And here is the Longmont Amateur Radio Club's table of stuff. And here is one of the Yagi antennas that we built during the class a few weeks ago. Hat from Larkfest 2011. Wow. And here's our uh, here's our Delarx go, go box. So that go box is connected to a, looks like an Ed Fong J pole, and then we have a Wolf River coil set to probably 20 meters and a short width. 
Dr. Ed's going to talk about tiny so essays. So the goal time based that you set on a switch over here so that could be anywhere between a microsecond and a millisecond. All right, and here's the van. All right, here's the raffle area. People are winning. All right, so this is how you get a hold of them. All right, they make custom name badges here. A whole bunch of different styles. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Both of you. Thanks, Debbie. Uh, these look really awesome, and she's over here making the name badges. So this is a computer, and she puts in the information in there, and here we go. Everybody's doing, you know, more modern. Yeah, yeah. Three five six zero one nine. It is official. The videographer has won. Awesome. Congratulations. You know, I've never won anything in my life. I just won sixty-five dollars. I don't know. Nice.